There are just a few things to remember in order to care for your Speed Queen top load washer. Since the Department of Energy has mandated all manufacturers to reduce water levels, a narrow upper section of the tub does not get submerged in the wash or rinse bath. Over time, this can cause a residue ring to develop from laundry detergents and water impurities. Every few weeks, at the end of a laundry cycle, turn the washer completely off. Using a fresh cloth and an all-purpose cleaning product, wipe down the top two to three inches around the entire circumference of the tub. For optimum performance, once a month, check to make certain your washer is level. If necessary, make adjustments to the leveling feet with a wrench. It is also a good practice to keep the surface of the washer free from bleach that may have spilled out when filling the dispenser. Your machine's hoses can deteriorate because of recurring extreme water temperatures and pressure. Each month, check the hoses for visible signs of wear. Worn hoses should be immediately replaced, and all hoses should be replaced every five years. If your washer is slow to fill, check the filter screens in the fill hoses for debris and damage. Clean or replace them if necessary. As a rule, you should check the condition of the filter screens every six months. If your washer will not be used for an extended period of time, shut off the water supply to the machine. This will minimize the possibility of property damage in the event a hose lets go and causes water to spill out while you're away. With these few easy practices, you'll help to ensure that your Speed Queen top load washer performs at its peak for years to come.